Hello everyone, this is Enzo Hagen of the Alliance for Loki. So I was driving down the Cantano route the other day and uh, all of a sudden there's this bright light in the sky and it just came real close to my automobile and next thing you know it just like was blinding and I was I felt like I was transported and then I sort of woke up strapped to this table uh, felt the sensation of moving at high speeds and there's like this weird looking creature like uh, staring at me and then and then everything went bright again and, and I was back in my car and so I don't know it was strange and and I feel a little different but hopefully hopefully it was just I don't know a bad dream or something <laughs> Anyway, this is the cosmic tier list. And so, uh, in the number one spot, my love of my life, my favorite champion, um, and just amazing. He's been so good for so long, Mr. Corvus Glaive. And, um, you know, he's just really strong, really bursty. But what's most interesting, really, is that immunity he has. You can just do so much with it. If you ever play with him in incursions, like when they have the big degen because you haven't cleared one of the mini bosses, he doesn't care. He'll just keep on hitting them, hitting into their block, doing lots of damage and survive. So he's a really cool champion for many reasons. After that, um, sort of the new champion, the uh, one that was voted on by everyone is Hercules. And I've been playing him more and more in um, 7.3. And yeah, he's just an incredible champion. Definitely takes a, an interesting play style. I mean, you have to be very aggressive, lots of intercepts. Um, sort of get the intercept special technique so you can get the uh, big uh, precision and cruelty up to do a lot of damage but um, he also has sort of the cheat death mechanic too with his immortality though it's on a timer so not quite as effective as Corvus is. Um, also in the top spot um, uh, you know I always debate how good he is and that's Co Cosmic Ghost Rider. I feel like I actually don't see people using him all that much but boy the damage output he has so quick is incredible and it's quick doesn't require any ramp up i mean both corvus and hercules do require ramp up to really be at the most effective cosmic ghost rider right out of the box he is good strong and it's quick too i mean within 15 hits of your combos i mean you're ready to do massive sp2s um, i'm gonna put hyperion up in this group too i think hyperion is you know now he's a six star he's just an old champion who still stood the test of time i mean his power gain is incredible I mean, he has regen, which is uh, often overlooked. Um, he's just great for putting on lots of debuffs, stun. Uh, you can almost unlock them just because you get so much, uh, so many SP2 so quick, and just yeah, an incredible champion. Um, and after that, Medusa, she's hard to put up in this level just because she's not quite the same amount. But I'm, I'm going to start her in the level two, on the tier two. Great champion, super fun, was a champion for a while, was one of the best in the game. Sort of faded a little bit um, now that her damage isn't quite as high. And there's enough robot counters now out there that she's not not quite as needed as she once was. Um, also in the second tier, um, definitely have Angela. Angela's amazing. Angela is a super strong champion, can do a lot of damage, and her new signature ability, the way she makes uh, damaging debuffs, um, degrades so much quicker, up to 100% quicker, so almost zero time is really an interesting mechanic. Also good against resistance to nullify and auto block, so a lot of cool, cool kit she has. Uh, Captain Marvel movie, I think people would say she belongs in tier one. I don't quite believe that she is a sort of in-fight ramp up champion and then she can carry that over too with her persistent charges a lot of damage a little bit a little bit dependent on synergy with nick fury um and her indestructibility is cool too and it helps her sort of an interesting feature of the cosmics is this like uh this like cheat death mechanic that a lot of them seem to have but um overall she's just not quite powerful enough to break into tier one um, see if there's anyone else worthy of tier two. Mm, I could almost put Cole and Odin. Uh, actually, Venom. Venom's definitely. He is uh, worthy of this. Um, can do a lot of damage. Has lots of um, buffs on him too, which is really helpful for various content. And yeah, he's a pretty awesome champion. Um, controversially, I don't know. I don't know if Vision Arcus or Odin belong in there. I don't think they're quite of the power of these champions. So I'm going to start the next tier with them. Vision Arcus, um, very versatile. You know, has sort of like a combination of Hyperion, Medusa, and Iceman all in one. It has a little bit of each, but doesn't do anything 
as well as those other champions, but still has lots of fun to play. Good power gain, lots of debuffs too. Um, and yeah, no can shut down robots with, robots with his armor shatter, shatter, shut down evaders with his ice, um, ice snap, cold snap. So yeah, he has a lot of interesting things. Odin I'm put in this list too. Odin, um, great pre-fight champion, of course, but also in his own right is a pretty good attacker too and has um has good damage lots of true strikes so he can like you know deal with with uh, evaders and auto blocks cole is sort of like a lesser version of you know hercules or corvus without the immortality he's a ramp up champion and can do incredible damage uh, when he gets ramped up his damage is is absolutely outstanding but that's sort of all he has and he's really um really um soft he just takes a lot of damage easily um, ooh, I got two silver surfers. Let me eliminate one. Uh, next is, uh, you know, Noel. I'm going to put here only because he's a little bit untested. I feel like there's a lot of hype. I think everyone's going to want him to be in tier two, but I think we need to wait and see. I'm not as impressed with his gameplay, I feel like, as most people are. Like, when I look at him, he, he seems okay. Um, I mean, he seems powerful and interesting. Seems like it takes a long time to ramp up, and... It's something about the intense armor breaks. I know Go Cosmic Ghost Rider has it too, but I've never really felt like that's a mechanic you really want to count on that much. Um, I think now with his awesome, awesome bo uh, boost buff, his King Root. You know, I love regen, as I always say. He's a regen god now. So strong a regen, especially at high sig. And he also is, you know, tanky can do a lot of damage um and well actually his damage is fair but he can sustain a long fight and do a lot of damage over a long time um so he's a he's a really good champion actually he has reasonable damage now with the way his furies ramp up so it's it's a bit of a change from that actually can do a good bit of damage um also in this third tier is there anyone else um i'll go put venom the duck in here so venom the duck is a champion who um, again, ramp up champion. His ramp up is a little strange because it's so random. And so you have to sort of hope you get the right buffs on him that you want and then recreate those from fight to fight. It takes definitely a bit of skill to make sure you don't like have too many of one and not enough of another. But overall, he's, he's an interesting champ who can, once rammed up, be very powerful. Let's see. I sort of tend to put OG Thor or Hela in there, but... Um, I don't think they quite make it. Maybe OG Thor is worth it. Um, okay, let's put him up there for now. OG Thor is now as a six star. Again, really, really good kit. Um, he's the same old champion he was in like 2015. You know, he stuns, can get the armor break, and then you know do a lot of big damage once you have those things. Yeah, I think it's the double armor break that gives him a lot of damage. I mean, again, compared to like a Cosmic Ghost Rider or Hercules, is not nearly as powerful, but probably deserving of the third tier very fun easy simple champion to play is just not much to him which sometimes is really good to have okay and the fourth tier i'm gonna start off with hella so hella uh, especially i think it's with the odin synergy can get a lot of furies do a lot of damage i've seen some gameplay of a couple of people in my lines really use her effectively for huge damage and would argue she's like a tier one champion while it might be true i just don't see enough people using her to be convinced by that and so she'll remain there um after this um who else would be in tier three i'd say red goblin he's another champion where i oh, sorry tier four where you know people are able to use him and he seems like he can be effective and good in a lot of situations and so he's uh he's a good champion um sort of in the same breath i would say nova's a lot the same really interesting mechanic i mean really like encourages you to intercept uh, but at the same time, it's really easy to get sort of like a, a just m mess up trying to get his uh, his um, charges ramped up since you always have to dash forward to get the charges ramped up. Easy to get yourself in trouble, as I often do. Uh, who else is in third here? Um, probably Carnage. Carnage is a is a good champion. Um, you know, again, nothing amazing, but fun to play. Has some good utility um, and yes, yeah, perfectly reasonable. Trying to think, maybe Terax. I feel like Terax needs some more gameplay because I think he could be good. And he, again, he's another one of these interesting champions with a lot going on. He's one of the champions that's actually much better as a defender just because his kit seems totally designed for defense. But in that, there's also a lot of interesting utility you'd get out of him. 
After that, um, does anyone else belong in this group? Super scroll, I'm a little bit tempted to put in here, but uh, yeah, again, he just, um, just, he has a lot. Okay, let's put him in here. Super scroll has a lot to him, and he seems he should be good. It's probably really a tier five, but uh, just because he just has, has so much going on with him, I'm gonna put him in tier four, thinking that maybe he actually is. All right. Okay, now for tier five, that's five of like very average, below average champions. So, um, actually, no, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna actually put Ronin up on the fourth. Yeah, I'll put him in the fourth. I was thinking about putting him in the third, but just the fact that he has that special, you know, special cheese ability that often comes in incredibly useful that you can use like a four star and win with him just because he gets that infinite stun lock. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, in the fifth row, um, Annihilus, uh, he's, awesome looking i wish he was more fun actually he's fun but i wish he was more powerful or stronger or better or had more utility i'm the only one who puts on a stifle debuff in the whole game um and then airwalker sort of i uh, you know he's sort of an interesting idea that just didn't work out with his the way his whole special three mechanic and his dark tide mechanics work both these champions are interesting and very unique but they just didn't quite um quite all fit together uh, Proxima, she's actually going to put her up in tier 4. I mean, she could be an amazing ramp up champion, but her ramp up is incredibly long and it doesn't take uh, too much to uh, make a mistake on trying to ramp her up. Let's go with the Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Drax, Gamora, and Groot. All of these are just like, ah, you know, fun if you like to play them, but they don't really bring much to the game. Then we have all the Captain Marvels, many of them. Well, Kamala Khan is, a, I think, a variant of one. Um, then the Miss Marvel and then Captain Marvel. Uh, of, of these three, Captain Kamala Khan is the most interesting. Actually played her when you had to do the Karina's Challenge. Reasonable fun. I think she was a, a pretty cool champion to play. But yeah, <laughs> nothing you'd ordinarily want to use unless you're forced to. Black Bolt. You know, I think people like him, and there's definitely people who think he's awesome, but he just doesn't do too much. Um, Phoenix, uh, she could be so good, and, and she's one of my favorite champions, characters in the X-Men, but again, also just doesn't quite do enough. Champion, sort of a pure defender. I actually don't find him too fun to play. Uh, he just somehow it doesn't work the way all of his things flow together as an attacker. Um, it's definitely it feels like someone who's just made as a defense as a defensive character, and that's it. Uh, of course, Venompool with his buff. I'm gonna move him up to the four. I forgot about his buff. I haven't really played him post buff. People seem to like him. We actually had someone use him in a war, so he's good for a war fight. So that may even mean he's up to row three. Then another sort of Spider-Man copy doesn't really do anything different from the OG. Thanos is just a trophy champion. And speaking of copies, Superior Iron Man is just an exact copy of Iron Man. There's not even anything superior about him, um, except maybe Silver. Now, the last champion I have here is Silver Surfer, and he's really interesting. I feel like he could be anywhere from one to four, and you could easily argue it. I did this in my top 20 video. I'm going to do it here. I'm actually going to elevate him to number one just because of his prestige his prestige is so good i mean not only is it top in the game but it's top by a big step i mean it's a big step over the second place and then over like fifth and sixth place a huge step so i feel like he deserves the tier one just because of prestige reasons i mean he's an okay champion if we're talking about playability probably a four to be honest i mean he's, he's okay but doesn't really bring that much special maybe a three and so the cosmic is a very interesting class i would say you know, one and two is, is pretty similar. I mean, definitely tier one, of course, is, is better than tier two, but they're not that much different. Um, tier three and tier one, two, and three, you know, I don't know if there's as much difference as in other classes. There's a large number of four and fives and cosmics of champions that are just, yeah, I mean, unless you like playing them, they're just not really that great in this game. So, so I would say it's one of the more like, bottom heavy classes in that there's just a lot of champions that aren't particularly strong um and so so there you have it there's the cosmic tier list hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you know whatever happened to me is going to be okay in that uh, strange place i was teleported to but um we'll see we'll see if i survive <laughs> to make another video so i hope to see you then
拜拜。